Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to quickly and hopefully resolve if Windows 7 is stuck searching for updates on your computer or checking for updates. Now, I have made a previous tutorial for this and if the steps in this video do not work for you, I'd recommend heading over to that video and I should have a link in the description for that one as well. And rather than just be redundant and show both steps in these tutorials, I figured I just would make uh, link to it in the bottom of this video so check that out if this one does not work for you there's no harm in doing either one of these videos so just gonna jump into it and we're gonna start if you're experiencing issues with checking for updates and it seems to be taking forever and it's not making any progress this tutorial should be able to offer some assistance so what you want to do is start by heading over to the start menu and you want to type in services underneath programs you want to open up the services option that comes up should be one of the best matches on the list. And you might need to just give it a second to load up here. Okay, so we can expand the size of these tabs by just dragging in between them a little bit so we can see where we're going better. And you want to first select the Background Intelligence Transfer Service, and you might double click on it. And if the server status says Start or Started, you want to click on Stop. We can see that it's already stopped so we don't have to worry about it. And now we want to go down to the Windows Update Service, right here, double click on it. Underneath server status, you want to click on the stop button right here. And then you want to click on OK. And once you stop the service, we can close out of the services window. And now what we're going to do is open up the start menu. And you want to left click on the computer tab on the right side here. And now whatever your hard drive is, most people's local disk should be the C drive. You want to open that up by double clicking on it and now you want to proceed to go underneath Windows so double click on the Windows folder and now you want to scroll down until you get to software distribution right here double click on that for anything that's listed in here you just want to highlight over all of them right click and then delete if you want to move these items to the recycling bin you want to select yes to that And this will take a couple moments, so just want to be patient. All this is is just a basically backed up cache version of the Windows updates that have already been installed. It doesn't harm anything to delete this out every once in a while, so just want to be patient here. Okay, so once it's empty, what we're going to do now is download a tool from Microsoft's website, a Fixit Utility. So we can close out of this window, and now in a new window on your computer, on your browser, you want to open up this page. And I'm going to have it in the description of the video. This will be a direct download from Microsoft's webpage, and this should help troubleshoot problems you might be having with installing updates on your computer. And you want to click on the Open With. You want to make sure it's set to Diagnosing Troubleshooting Wizard, and then click on OK. 
And now you can close out your web browser. It should say troubleshooting help prevent computer problems, Windows update, find and fix problems with Windows update. Click on this advanced option right here and make sure it's checked where it says apply repairs automatically and then select next.
Okay guys, so the troubleshooting utility has completed. We can see all the stuff that it found and fixed. So that's definitely very nice. It'll go through that. And then I recommend clicking on view detailed information down at the bottom left to show you exactly what was found. So you can see how much it fixed right here. So definitely nice. But I do have this brief video was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.